Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this second part of a two-part video, you should be able to describe what's meant by the conservation of energy. You should then be able to describe how energy can be transferred within a system. And finally, you should be able to describe what happens when energy is dissipated. In the last video, we looked at the energy transfers taking place when a pendulum swings. We saw that gravitational potential energy is transferred to kinetic energy and then vice versa. In this video, we're looking at how energy is transferred during a bungee jump. This is slightly more complicated, but stick with it and you will get it. This shows a bungee jumper standing on a platform raised off the ground. At the start of the jump, all of the energy in the system is the store of gravitational potential energy. As a jumper falls, energy is transferred from the gravitational potential energy store to the kinetic energy store. When the bungee rope just starts to tighten, the kinetic energy store is now at its maximum. When the rope is fully extended, the kinetic energy store is zero because the jump has not moving. Now at this point, all of the energy has been transferred to the elastic potential energy store. The bungee rope now recoils and energy is transferred from the elastic potential energy store back to the kinetic energy store. During the ascent, energy transfers from the kinetic energy store back to the gravitational potential energy store. Finally, at the top of the ascent, all of the energy is now in the gravitational potential energy store. Now there's one key idea about the bungee jump that we need to look at. The jumper never returns back to the original position. That's because energy is dissipated as thermal energy. That's due to friction with air particles as the jumper passes through the air. It's also due to stretching effects in the bungee rope. Bungee ropes are not fully elastic, so some thermal energy is always dissipated during stretching and recoil. Now you'll find plenty more questions on energy transfers, such as the bungee jump, in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by the conservation of energy. You should then be able to describe how energy can be transferred within a system, and finally you should be able to describe what happens when energy is dissipated.